This is Marcel Labiauchak, the founder of Expand to Market. And today uh, for our YouTube channel, we're doing a YouTube tutorial on prospecting and Piva and how to use both these extensions, not to only automate your LinkedIn connection, relationship building, but also get clients from it. I invite people to webinars in a very easy few steps. And today I have with me Alton Chikani, the founder of Chikani Realty Group. Alton, if you want to introduce yourself really quick. Hey guys, this is Alton Sakani. So I'm the founder of Sakani Realty Group. I'm an active real estate investor and I'm also a realtor in the state of Massachusetts. Yeah, this is the first training for me. So I'm still a newbie at this. So I'm going to have Marcilda explain everything and go through it. So we, the example of today is going to be more about real estate. Um, so, you know, you, you can still customize it based on your industry, your location, but my goal is to just give you a quick overview on prospecting first and also Piva, how to navigate. And then we'll start doing some actual examples at the end of the video that how do you actually start sending messages and automation or even just connections. So, you know, it's just for easier, uh, easier steps. You guys don't have to always be on LinkedIn all the time, uh, but you can do all this in automation and take action when needed. So with that said, I'll share my screen really quick. So this is prospecting. You're able to see my screen, right? Yep. So after you download prospecting is as an extension, it should be showing on the top of your toolbar and you log in. Then uh, basically this is what you see. This is a dashboard. On the dashboard, uh, you have different uh, analytics you can see right away. So these are all your um, people you have been connected on LinkedIn. So it basically connects with your LinkedIn account and any data that you um, take from there, it will upload here and I'll show you guys how to do that really quick. But basically gives you like actions and how many people um, maybe has visited your site and the next 90 days and then also different actions, right? So like, you know, if I put some type of like timeline here on, let's say I want to know on a certain campaign how it did, I can just click and it'll show me maybe how many people from that campaign connected with me, messaged me and so on. Here's where all our campaigns are going to live and we do different campaigns, uh, not only for us, but also our clients. So it's better for you to always make sure when you create a campaign to give it a really good name that you know exactly what the campaign is about and maybe even certain features or filters that you did to make sure it gives you like a hint of what the campaign is about. And the queue, just to explain the queue, is a little bit complicated not, and not a lot of people understand the queue. So prospecting, we're using the free tutorial right now, the free version rather, um, to make sure that you guys understand that prospecting is also a paid tool. But to just get started, to get the hang of it, you can use the free version. Uh, it gives you 100 cues, it's almost like 100 points. So when I start a campaign, I can only do 100 cues at a time. So I have to wait for those 100 actions to be completed. If it's sending connections, if it's sending like maybe messages, once the messages get accepted by people, you almost retrieve those messages back on LinkedIn so you know those people accepted this action. When this queue is empty, you can just go in and load. And I'm going to show all of this, how to do it very soon. So here is also shows prospects, which is uh, accounts or actions that I have on my campaign. So look, I have a lot of prospects, but it doesn't mean all of them are part of one campaign. It can be a total of all my campaigns. So if you need like, you know, if you're basically able to have an entire team to work with you, you can also add members, give them different access you know, what they're able to do similar to like all your social media channels where you give them different admin access and you know, the others, you know, we don't really need them. But the cool thing with prospecting, you can also see demos provided by the prospecting team on YouTube or even right here. Uh, I just, I'm like a, a person more like on the hands-on. So that's why I thought uh, it might be easier for me to give a training to Alton based exactly on his industry and what, what his goals are. So with that said, before we, we start, let's start with the campaign. So the campaign for today will be, uh, what is your goal, Alton? You want to connect with other realtors, right? On LinkedIn? Yeah. Yeah. So just hiring, uh, agents on my, on my team. So Alton's goal is basically not just to connect with people on LinkedIn and build relationships, but hopefully they can see um, him and his company, what is 
what he's doing, maybe invite them to his webinars. And the ultimate goal is to hopefully recruit some of these agents to join his company, uh, which he started like a few months ago. So he's still new in the business. And sometimes like, you know, you need to increase awareness, but also like you need to learn more your audience prior to you interviewing them. Right. So this is the step that Alti wants to take. So whatever we have to do with prospecting and LinkedIn has to be in a certain way that the goal or the action in the end will be, you know, do you want to join my team or you want to interview? Right. So let's start the campaign. Right. So we'll start the first campaign and right here on the plus sign, we can start a campaign. And we'll name it uh, maybe real estate and Alton, do you want to target a certain location this time or do you want to just keep it general in U.S.? Yeah, general U.S. is fine. All right, so real estate, USA, and maybe we know like we can put like realtors here just so we know that basically just to give us some hints of what is actually the data going to be in. And I'm actually going to even do second connection because second connections, people you haven't connected yet. Uh, but it's connections of your first connections, right? So it will help you to get better traction and not start from scratch when they, if they see that you usually have no mutual connections, sometimes people tend to not accept your connection. So that's why I'm just doing here second connection, just so it gives us more idea. And I'll do, okay, so we created the campaign. Now we need to load data to this one. So we're going to this time, I'm using my LinkedIn uh, profile as an example, but um, you know, even if you use your LinkedIn, it should be easy as that. So you have a search bar and you guys probably all know that on the search bar, you can search certain keywords and then you can filter by it. So the keywords, keywords today is going to be probably real realtor. Okay. I'll do search. And then just to make sure that our data are more accurate because it's going to be a lot of data as they come here. So I'll we filter by people because we're trying to connect with people, not companies, or we're not looking for jobs. And there's still a lot, right? So it's like 1 million, some results. We want to filter as much as we can just to like make our search much easier. So we'll go to connect to locations and I'm going to click maybe United States. And maybe I'll, I'm going to even do greater Boston just because Alton is based in Boston. I mean, in Massachusetts area. So it might just be easier for him to connect with people that, you know, he can just meet in person and I'll do show results. And it's still going to show us a lot of results, right? You see, like it didn't do much, right? There's still yeah. a lot of connections. So let's filter by just second connection, just to show you like all the connections. You see, like we trimmed it down to 13,000 results. We can still all go to all filters and maybe see like uh, if there's a certain, you see EXP so, Realty. Quick question. So the yes. first, we don't check the first connections on here? Well, your first connection is people you already connected. Oh, people right? that already see my account, right. Okay. Yeah, so that's why usually you want to connect with second or third because you're trying gotcha. to like connect with new people and grow your following, but also message new people. Yeah. But you, with Perspective, you can also just message your first connection. If you're doing some type of like uh, campaign through LinkedIn messaging, you can just gotcha. do first connection. If let's say you want to invite your actual connections to a webinar. Uh, but right here, I know that uh, your company works with the XP Realty. So maybe we will select this one. Or do you want to just keep it general? Well, well no, it has to be non-EXP because if they're already on EXP, then... I okay. can't really add them to my team. So it has to be out um, anything, anything but EXP basically. Okay, perfect. So we can do this, um, but also you're able to add more companies or you can just maybe filter by one company. Let's say if you're targeting them and you can make the messaging dedicated to them. Here yeah. it shows also other companies, but it's fine. We're just doing like a, an example today. And also let's say if you want to connect with people, a certain university that maybe you finished, you want to have something mutual to talk about is you know, it's fine. The language doesn't really matter because we have the location based on US, so it doesn't really matter much. Services, we're not looking much for services, so we'll just keep it general. So we're going to show the results and these are our final results. So this is more filter. Uh, we have 1,600 results. Now, the way our prospecting works, we can take all this data and load it to prospecting but we don't want to load like so many results at once because it's just too much. Right. And we're using the free version. So yeah. we're going to click prospecting and right here we can select the campaign. We're trying to upload this uh, data. So we're selecting the campaign we just created right here. 
And perspective it gives you usually a minimum number, I think it's a thousand. So I think I'll just keep it a thousand, you know, total. Or uh, if we want to load it more faster, let's start with maybe 500 just to like, so we don't have to wait all day here to load. We do validate and then it's going to just load. While we load this, Altin, I don't know if you have any questions meantime, this will take a while. Or do you want me maybe to just load 200, just like for the example? Yeah, I mean, we can load like 10. It doesn't matter, I think. Okay, this so let me just stop it. Time. But was it clear until here or? Yep. Okay, cool. Let me just go back to LinkedIn. I'll just do it again. So I'll just do maybe 50. It'll probably be faster. All right, so you can see my screen, right? Yes. All right, so now the data loaded, uh, we ended up loading 60. And as we said, the queue is 100, so you can take 100 action at a time. So here you can see all, you know, the data that was loaded, and you can even double check. It says realtor, realtor, so we know there is the right data, and they're correct. Just to give you an overview of what we are able to see, you can filter different stuff, right? So I can filter by, let's see, if I'm trying to have some type of connection, I can filter by just to make sure people that I have not connected or maybe even pending, maybe we've connected to them before, we just didn't know. People that I've never messaged, so no more message sent. And, you know, this is like, you know, of course, if you haven't messaged them, you haven't probably replied them. So I would not worry about it. But for uh, any campaigns you do to the first connections, that this is, it comes to place, right? You have to make sure that maybe, let's say you message them, uh, but then they have a reply and you select this box and then you do that follow-up message, right? This is like uh, if you're doing a messaging to people that you already are connected to, then maybe you have already even sent a message. But today we're focusing on people that we have never spoken to, we've never connected, and our goal is to connect with them and potentially invite them to our webinar and so on. You also have more filters, right? For example, if you put some type of like a scenario, so let's say if that person doesn't reply, I'm going to send them this follow-up in a certain day. This is usually where you check the box, say, okay, it's not in a scenario and so on, or you haven't followed them or you haven't visited their site. So you can do a lot of filters, but I usually like my campaigns to keep it simple. So right now, like we said, the simpler is just like, you know, not connected. We haven't sent a message yet. And that's it. And this is our filter. And let's see, you know, it looks like we still have 60, which means like all these people are the right data. Now, right here, you can even just visit your site. Like this is how cool it is. So let's say if I'm selecting everybody, I can just choose to just visit and use my actions to visit. Usually the visit, you know how we get like a notification that let's say Alton saw your profile and you can see their face. It's just almost like a curiosity that people be like, oh, let me see who this person is that is actually checking my profile. It's good, but to me, the best, the best follow-ups and best, uh, I, I guess, like return on time, not investment, but return on time that I have is when I actually have not just sending a connection, right? So I can just choose to connect, for example. So let's say right here, I can choose to connect with them, but not just to connect, but I'm adding a note. So, you know, how many times you receive someone that connected with you, you just accepted their connection? but you probably didn't even notice what their name yeah. was, right? So this is very often. That's why my goal is to not just connect, but to send a message because, you know, the probability of them just checking you, maybe checking your company name, checking even what you're all about is higher. But also when you are messaging with someone on LinkedIn, the algorithm will keep that person more on your newsfeed, right? So you might more willing to see a notification that, hey, this person shared a post next time you, yeah. let's say, post, for example. So that's why it's always good to, message and you have to make the messages look very personalized because nowadays on linkedin i mean you could probably i could just show you my linkedin messaging like i receive so many messages that are in automation and they're always pitching me something selling me something and i use a different approach to better build relationships so you need to do something like also hands-on and not just everything on automated because people know that you're probably this, the first message came as a robot right like a robot sent yeah. it to them so the goal to me is like, not just like when you receive that message back that you know that they accept it, to send a follow-up that maybe looks more personal, but even like go on their profile really quick, check an article that they maybe wrote or shared and comment there. They are more willing to see, hey, this person messaged me, connected with him, but also like he comment, let me see more who this person is. So next time when they're, when you're asking them something, or maybe you're even like trying to collaborate more, have a meeting, they already know you because they remember you. Don't just like, right? Usually nobody sees who liked your post, but everybody sees who comment because they have to reply saying thank you or maybe 
when you comment don't just say like nice post but add your thoughts engage on that relationship and this way you're actually going to build a stronger relationship so when you send them a message they're more willing to respond and actually have a, a true conversation because they know that you're not a robot you're a real person so my goal is usually let's say if we're trying to connect i can add a note and i can say note one or i can give it a name let's say note one is introduction right so i can say introduction here so you know what no one is and my introduction will be here i have actually an example here that i can just copy paste so for example this is just a simple right I'm, I'm just doing an example but i usually tend to provide more personal to for example when i connect with other entrepreneurs because i'm an entrepreneur and you know there's a lot of ways i'm not just connecting to learn from one another and learn what they're up to learn the industries but I also like want them to see my posts and potentially be my future customers in the future, right? So when I usually connect with entrepreneurs, I usually say, hey, love to connect with other entrepreneurs in the area because sometimes I try to connect locally. You know, I'm based in New Hampshire as well. Hopefully we learn from one another and, you know, let's help each other businesses in any way, even if it's like shout outs, whatever, right? So it looks very personal and people tend to respond really good. But just for this example, I might keep it simple and I'll just do a hi. And assuming I didn't do this already, I can choose, you know, first name. And I'll, you can see here the example. It'll pre-populate their first name, right? And I would not recommend to do also the last name because it looks more robot. <laughs> but if you have like a limit number, like for your first message to send through prospecting. You don't have a lot of characters. But you can just maybe, you know, customize a little bit like, hey, you know, so we were both uh passionate about real estate I don't know, i'm just trying to like make it yeah no, I, 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 I to connect and learn from one another right so that's it I, right so, okay. yeah right <laughs> Uh, but the goal is, you know, yes, you got the first message, they might not twice, but the goal is, which not a lot of people are doing and they're so missing out, especially people in sales, they're missing out on this is because they're not building true relationship. If I saw that you accepted my connection, I'm going to go to their profile and find out an article they wrote or something for me to like follow up to see that, hey, I'm not a robot. I'm actually really care about what you're about to post. I really care about your article and so on because they'll remember you. And then also in your newsfeed itself, is you're going to see them more often. You can put a comment here and there and they'll remember you. So next time when I actually ask them for a favor or ask them like, hey, I have this client that I think you guys can collaborate or if it's a sales pitch, whatever it might be, they're more willing to take that meeting because they saw that you have been almost like their connection for a while and you're just a true follower not just a number follower, right? So there's a difference. So right here, I can click save. And for me to send this, I can literally just do select 60 or however I want to do. It usually allows me to do 100 at a time. So assuming this will be 160, I would have mm -hmm. just selected 100 here, okay? And I can just do save and send. I'm not going to send it right now because it's my profile and I, I'm not actually as passionate as you on real estate. <laughs> but usually if I do save and send, this number, if it was 160, it would have been 60. And then the Q here is going to be 100. And that's how you know that the actions have been taken. And then every message, you know, you, you get accepted. And this is also like when you have LinkedIn premium, it helps you better because some people have that, uh, you know, on the LinkedIn, you cannot just connect to them. You have to add a note, right? Or send them a private message. And with LinkedIn Premium, it allows you to send the cues more often. And then all you do, usually sometimes you receive a notification right here. It looks like a red one. That means probably your queue is empty. So you can just mm -hmm. go in and just refresh, do the same thing. Just select again and then save a send.